Welcome back. You're still watching Steve Jobs, the icon, a special tribute to um, Steve Jobs, the former CEO of Apple. And now joining us in the studio with me is Mayesh Murthy, um, Managing Director of Seed Fund, and also Alok Kejriwal, who's the CEO of uh, Contest to Win. Now, guys, um, obviously, it's a very, very sad day in tech today. Uh, but uh, Apple has been, what's, uh, Steve Jobs is now Apple. Apple has been considered Steve Jobs. So once you take the man out of the equation, what's left for the company now? So uh, maybe I'll take a shot at it. I mean, uh, it, a Apple's very uh, identified very closely with Steve Jobs, but you must remember Jobs also started Pixar, and Pixar is running a beautiful life inside Disney right now. He started Next, which is running a beautiful life inside Apple right now. Uh, I think you can trust that he's put enough of a succe succession plan in place uh, for it to be uh, run out there. I do wonder, wonder though, that uh, you know, if you look at the soul of the company, mm -hmm. I mean, you identify very clearly the soul of Apple is the company of the soul, and the soul of Apple uh, was Steve Jobs. The uh, soul of Pixar was John Lasseter. So I don't think Tim Cook is necessarily that soul of the company. I could be wrong. Maybe it's Jonathan Ive, design guy. So I think that I, uh, you know, I'm waiting to see what happens on that front, but that's really my take. Uh, Alok, your take, yeah, same thoughts? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused. I mean, there's a momentum which will mm -hmm. carry on. So six months, one year, that's great. There's imagineering required, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is an age where you say, con I mean, Steve Jobs famously said, the consumer should not know what he wants. Who on earth can say that? Exactly. So, who's going to say, this is the next iPad, <coughs> and you don't know that, but you, you do need it? I think that challenge is, is very vast. And, you know, I, I kind of liken it to rock bands. <laughs> you know, when the lead dies or lead moves on, the rock band is no more. The rock band is no more. So... And, and so be it, right? So be it. So be it indeed. I'm going to get Sudhir back on the show. Um, Sudhir, so do you share the same thoughts? Um, if you take the man out of the equation, that Steve Jobs, will the company still remain the same? As Alok said, will the rock band die? I think if you look at the startup world, the founder has played a very significant role. But if you actually analyze uh, what Steve has been doing, so we know from uh, Twitter and from uh, the blogger world that uh, Steve was actually involved till one month before he was actually checking uh, the Google icon on, on the iPhone and so on and so forth. So he, he clearly was so involved. So I wouldn't be, and obviously he also knew at some point that his, uh, his debt was imminent, right? Because he, he timed it, he resigned, he, he was only moving away from the limelight. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's actually uh, written the code for Apple for the next 12 months. But uh, as Alok rightfully said on the show, uh, you don't know what you don't know. Right, and uh, the consumer doesn't know what he doesn't know, and and Steve is no more. So uh, I would say that um, uh, the, the company is certainly not going to grow at the same uh, growth path, uh, and certainly not going to invent itself as quickly as it has uh, so far, at least. Well, I'm going to take a cue from that, Sudhir. Well, obviously, um, Steve Jobs is a very calculative man, so this exit strategy must have been planned for the longest time. But how much of a roadmap can you plan? So, what do you think Steve Jobs has probably planned for the next three to five years for Apple now? So maybe I'll take a shot at that. I think uh, the one characteristic of all Apple products and the Steve Jobs current train is that they're all high-end products. They're one of those, I want to have those products. They're extraordinarily profitable products. I mean, if you take a $500 iPhone and take down the cost of competence, it's less than $100. It's 80% gross margin in that phone. And uh, all of this has happened because he's been able to build this magic and aura about this and this extraordinary remarkworthiness. The first sign of that faltering, I thought, was yesterday during the iPhone 4S launch when it was a damn squib, frankly, mm -hmm. right? And I think the call is going to be a hard call for the company to sit back and say, you know, can I still depend on that magic to carry me through or do I need to start democratizing my product? Do I need to start bringing down the prices to, you know, less? You can't, I mean, can they still hold 80% uh, gross margin? I think not. I think you will also see in a, in a country like India, the reason Apple is, is revered, but nobody owns an Apple is because everybody thinks it's great, it's beautiful, but it's too expensive too for expensive. me. Too expensive, But a Samsung is coming and come with products with the same Apple philosophy. It's Apple for the masses mm -hmm. and pretty much done, uh, taken over India. So in a country like India, you will find a lot of Apple, you know, will probably need to lower the price of the product and, and play like everybody else mm -hmm. and not have this, you know, once godly stature. I think you will see a lot of change happening out here. So Alok, Apple should become mass market now. How much I, steam is left in Apple I, now? I, I completely, you know, kind of have a contrarian view, right? I don't think it's about Apple versus Apple. Mm -hmm. It's about the fact that there are many more intelligent men out there beyond Steve Jobs. Right? Right. Somebody shows you the path, a lot of people know how to carry that torch. I mean, let's agree that Steve Jobs has been showing the world how to build great things for the last 10 years. And it's not just one person on earth who can do it. He's no more, but mm -hmm. there are lots of people out there. I mean, we all owned a Nokia and we were very proud of it, right? Not anymore. So I don't know about a Samsung or, an, or a Motorola, mm -hmm. but I bet that there are lots of companies out there who are saying, I can make the next Apple. 
and Steve Jobs may not be there to compete with them anymore. My bet is that you know Apple will have to do. You can't dis. You cannot change the DNA of a company just True. because somebody is knowing. You know, knocking on your gates. You can't say, oh, I'm going to be price sensitive now. You are who you are because you're price insensitive. I go to Apple and don't look at the price. I pay, take my credit card and say, I want that. I right? want that. I want it yeah. for when what I it is. When I go to buy Samsung, I say, hey, how much does it cost? And I become the dukandar, right? <laughs> but there is like emotion. So my point is, you know, Tim Cook's going to do what he's got to do. But a lot of new headwinds and tailwinds are going to blow their side, right? And it's a big, big, uh, cruel world out there. All right. So time for final words. So is this going to be a time for competitors to shine? Alok? And, uh, you know, from inside Apple, other than Steve Jobs or anyone else, who will be the next rising star? You know, I think absolutely. The world is going to shine, right? I mean, this is the world of consumer meets product delight. And it's no longer some stupid looking phones that people carried like a pager. I think Apple has a humongous amount of, you know, entrepreneurial DNA. I also assume, and that's what I've noticed in a lot of startups, the entrepreneur overshadows a lot of people. People don't have the courage mm -hmm. to come up and say, hey, Mr. Steve Jobs, I can make that Google icon even better than you can. That opportunity has come now. So people will shine and people will want to emulate him. What he's done is he's created a path to emulation, which is, I think, the signature event. Mahesh, path to emulation, who do you think is going to be the next big thing? Uh, I think in some ways, uh, you know, Apple is at a point where if you look at it from the stock price, revenue, whatever it is, it's going to be hard for it to continue to match up to where it is. Uh, the board will have to take some calls to say, look, can we continue? And I disagree with uh, Alok. And I think, that I think they will need to start looking after a, for a more mass audience. Uh, you know, they will not need to, they will not make a Janta phone. It's unlikely Apple will make a $100 phone, uh, you know, a 4,000 rupee phone or whatever that's up. But I think they will have to figure out that they're unable, they will not be always able to charge the premium. Yes, there'll be brilliant people. There's a Jonathan Ive <coughs> who's, who's designed a lot of the stuff at our Apple. There will be people, you know, uh, also the Apple RDF, the reality distortion field for a long time has depended on Steve Jobs. True, very I don't, true. You know, after looking at Tim Cook, I don't think, you know, I, he commands the RDF, <laughs> right? There's, there's no reality being distorted around him. The light waves don't bend around him. They go and bounce back. I think it's a, it's a hard task. Uh, some people may come up in Apple. Some people may leave and find homes elsewhere. Companies may come in and find it easier to hire people away from Apple. All of that is, it's, it's going to be a, a, a great time that's, uh, you know, uh, for the mobile market and uh, this is not i don't think anybody's celebrating uh, that he's passed on i think everybody understands he's he's shown what nobody else thought possible in this business but because he's shown the way like alok said i think a lot of people are going to say i can walk down the path whether i'm at apple or i'm outside of apple i can walk down that can, path can i leave a parting shot i mean i think look honestly there are 10 people who know who steve jobs is 100 million people who buy apple products they don't know who steve jobs is they know the product well that might be the case in india but not I'll be Otherwise. surprised. I mean, overall, you look, ask a tween boy or a girl, they love their iPod, they love their iPhone, they love their Mac, they love their iPad. Ask housewives in middle America, they love what they're using, right? Who knows who Steve Jobs is? Yeah, there's some guy there who's making <laughs> whatever. So I think we've given, you know, he's far more bigger than the brand. But everybody in the stock market knows that, right? That's okay. We're not talking stock, we're talking yeah. company, right? We're talking company. Yeah. All right, so um, final thoughts uh, from Mahesh Murthy and Alok Kejriwal. Alok Kejriwal clearly thinks that. Apple will not turn Dukandar and uh, make uh, cheaper phones, but Mahesh, you're of the I opinion that this will obviously turn mass market now. It'll turn a little more mass market. I mean, they will. I think it'll be hard for Apple to keep its stock price up uh, with its, you know, uh, especially the iPhone 4S is not going to do it. They'll have to figure out that they'll either need to innovate faster. This was disappointing. After 16 months to come out with a phone that's one year behind the market was disappointing. I think they will need to really be slightly more open to the thought that there are others around them. Look, everybody else learned from them. Samsung used to make crappy phones. Motorola made crappy phones. But they've all learned from Apple. And all right, sir. That's what's going to happen. All right, sir. That's what's going to happen. Apple might, might have to turn mass market. But hopefully we'll see great innovations from Apple coming in the future. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. And it's a sad day, but we pay tribute to Steve Jobs, uh, the icon. And with that, we have to take another break on the show. But coming up on the other side, uh, many people around the world are actually paying tribute to Steve Jobs in their own way. We capture all those precious moments. <laughs>